difficult part of generalization is I did not understand until I started to learn how to teach it, how difficult it was to teach. And didn't understand that generalization can happen too much, that it can happen too little. And I think that it might be one of those things that as behavior analysts, we don't know that we don't know. And, and the real model helps us learn how to teach these things that sometimes seem too abstract or too difficult to grasp and break down. The real model is a systematic approach for targeting and teaching generalizations of those basic skills that we're wanting kids to learn to be able to um, function in everyday life with their peers and with their family. So the real model stands for recreating environments to accelerate learning. We recreate scenarios that might happen out in the world and do it repetitively so that way it accelerates the learning. The, so the real model is a way of, of looking at skills um, that sometimes I feel like we, we don't even think about, that we almost take for granted, um, and breaking them down into their smallest parts and then building up from there. We use that to incorporate the parents and family members and all parties involved with the clients to ensure that the skills are effective and they're gonna maintain across the different environments. Very often these families haven't even really thought about what their day-to-day -day lives could be like if their child was performing those different skills um, with their siblings, with the family. And the matrix is a way to have that big picture discussion and then develop goals with the family uh, where you can talk about the family's values and get them really on board with treatment. Prior to starting with the company, um, I had no idea how to target generalization. And so joining the company, it was an amazing tool that I even thought like, man, what am I gonna do if I were to ever leave the company? Um, how would I, you know, this is, how would I target generalization? Um, so this is amazing that, you know, more people are able to have access um, to this uh, systematic way. When we use the real model, we're able to program for the client's life outside of the clinic setting. We're not using the train and hope approach anymore. Now we're able to use effective programs that are gonna make meaningful changes in the client's life. 100% the role model has helped me, um, especially with explaining and, and doing parent training um, and how the big picture and creating a home matrix to, as a roadmap as well within the real model, um, guiding programming um, for things that are important to them in their daily lives. Each child is going to be different um, and each family is different. The real model takes generalization and goes beyond what typical programs might just provide. We're incorporating all parties that are involved in the client's life, family members, parents, caregivers, and we're ensuring that the programs are individualized to make effective change for the clients. It's really rewarding, like you're changing not only the lives of the, the clients, you're changing their families' lives. Because of the change that I see in each child and the appreciation that the parents have and how happy they are with the way that they have seen the socially significant changes in their own child and, and at home. I've been here for 11 years. I've seen it work, yes.